friends, I am Anika Larson, aka Green Mom AF, and this is the Broadway vlog to save the planet where I want to help you go from feeling helpless and hopeless to helpful and hopeful, which is what the UN Global Goals for Sustainability did for me. Today we are talking about goal number 15, life on land. Sing it, Gregory. Life on Here to talk about it with us is Broadway star Jesse Mueller. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Nika. Jesse, yes. you were born and raised in Chicago. Correct. You were doing a ton of theater out there. And then you came to Broadway and you made a huge splash in On a Clear Day You Can See Forever. And I went and saw that show and I watched you sing your song and I thought, who is this magical creature? Where did she come from? Where do they make them like this? Chicago, apparently. It's the water, yeah. <laughs> the tap water. <laughs> Since then, you have starred on Broadway in Nice Work If You Can Get It, The Mystery of Edwin Drood, Waitress, Carousel, The Minutes, and of course, you floored everyone with your gorgeous performance of Carol King in Beautiful. And I had the crazy privilege of seeing your performance up close eight times a week because I got to play your best friend, Cynthia Weil. Yeah, it's just a joy of an experience. Yeah. What a drag. All right, Jesse. Yes. Global goal number 15. Life on land. What exactly is the goal of this goal? It's to protect, restore, and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems, sustainably manage our forests, combat desertification. Halt and reverse land degradation and halt biodiversity loss. Engage. Sing it, Gregory. Protect, restore, and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems. Sustainably manage forests. Combat desertification and halt and restore land degradation and halt biodiversity loss. Okay, so basically what this goal is saying is that flourishing life on land is the foundation for our life on the planet, right? The larger planet. We are all part of the planet's ecosystem and we have caused severe damage to it through deforestation, um, loss of natural habitats and land degradation. Promoting a sustainable use of our ecosystems and preserving biodiversity is not a cause, really the key to our survival. Yes. And Jesse, it is very fitting that you are here with me today talking about this because Carol King, of course, has been an environmental activist since the 70s. She has testified in front of Congress three different times about logging in the Rockies. She's super passionate about it. And she sent us a message that she would like you to deliver to the people. Carol says to us, the climate problem isn't just fossil fuels. Living trees store carbon, not just in the trees, but also in the soil. So logging releases massive amounts of carbon into the atmosphere. Unfortunately, logging for profit happens in our national forests at taxpayer expense. We who want climate action need to include meaningful forest preservation as part of our advocacy. So here's what you can do right now. Go to whitehouse.gov slash contact. That's whitehouse.gov slash contact. Write in your own words a message to the effect of, I'm a climate voter and that's why I'm asking the president to issue an executive order immediately ending commercial logging in our national forests. Thank you so much for carrying this message forward. Never give up. Love. Never give Love up. Carol. Thank you, Carol. Mm -hmm. Love that. And there's another Broadway diva who has been fighting the good fight for the planet for decades, too. Would you talk about that, please, Jesse? I will. She is the wind beneath our wings. In 1995, Bette Midler founded the New York Restoration Project. They believe that nature is a fundamental right of every New Yorker. And they renovate gardens and restore parks, plant trees. That's a big one. Educate students and forge partnerships to transform the city's landscape through volunteer efforts. They support communities in activating these green spaces um, year-round through urban agriculture and public programs like live performances, food distributions, and other neighborhood-centered activities. Ah, that's wicked awesome. Okay, now globally, if we widen the lens out of New York City... Let's widen it. Let's widen it. Let's widen our lens. Some of the targets of Goal 15 are... The targets! To conserve and restore land and freshwater ecosystems like wetlands, mountains, and drylands. End deforestation and restore degraded forests. Restore degraded land and soil affected by desertification, drought, and floods. Not to be confused with desertification, which is the creation of deserts. 
shorts flan right there in your hand <laughs> eliminate poaching and trafficking of protected species please and protect ecosystems and biodiversity through governmental planning and financial resources yes okay so these are big targets and you might be wondering what you can do to help what can i do our problems can seem so massive and the solution so out of our control that it's overwhelming, but there is always something that you can do, something that is manageable for you in your life. If we just keep trying to do the next right thing, do the next right thing. Together we can achieve these goals. Yes, we can. Of course, you can always find a Goal 15 charity like the New York Restoration Project and make a donation, big or small. Use recycled paper products and check for certifications on wood and paper, including your toilet paper, like FSC, which stands for Forest Stewardship Council. They help uh, responsibly manage forests. Yes. Get your pets from animal shelters. Compost, people. It's not just for hippies and farmers. It reduces our climate impact, builds healthy soil, and it foils the rats. Choose organic products whenever you can and check labels so you don't buy products tested on animals. Support biodiversity by planting native plants on your terrace, rooftop, or even in your yard. Don't use pesticides in your yard. They hurt the soil and the animals and us. And don't be afraid of bugs. Our native insects are vital to our ecosystem and spraying them harms us too. And always stay informed and vote. Vote. Vote! Alrighty. As always, we end the Broadway vlog to save the planet with the lightning round. The lightning round! Harry Potter. Okay, Jesse, let's start the clock now. What is your favorite snack to eat when you're in the thick of tech? Sour cream and cheddar ruffles. What's the most important thing for you to do to regenerate? The thing you need to take care of yourself physically or mentally? Sour cream and cheddar ruffles. No, um... Uh, being out in nature, water is really good for me. And therapy, consistent therapy. What activist or leader would you most want as your high school drama teacher? Okay, well, Carol King would be cool. Also, maybe Bono? What role have you always wanted to play but have never gotten to play because you were quote-unquote the wrong gender? Maybe Sweeney Todd? What is the worst survival job you ever had? This was back in college, um, but I did not like working at the pita pit during the graveyard shift. When all the drunk kids came in and wanted their pita. Do drunk kids like a lot of pita? They wanted their pitas, you know what I mean? And they wanted them fast. What is the greatest theater city in the world? <sighs> Don't Sophie's Choice me like that. Don't even do it. Pass. Who's greener, Elphaba or Greta Thunberg? <laughs> Greta. Which of these invasive species in New York City would you most want to lose in a mixed martial arts battle? Rats, cockroaches, or red-spotted lanternflies? Red-spotted lanternflies. Get out. Who has been one of your favorite people to work with in this business? Lindsay Mendez. Ding! 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 Thank you, Jesse, and thank you for watching. My friends, if you're ever feeling down about it all, please know that the climate revolution is a groundswell of people working towards shared prosperity on a healthy planet with more and more people every day out there innovating, problem solving, making good trouble, all in the ways that make sense for them, and you can too. Arthur Ashe said, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Let's all do the next right thing, and together we are going to make a greener and fairer and more prosperous world. Thank you.